There are dress codes that contain sexual discrimination. In some dance studios, in some theaters, in some discotheques, in some skating rinks, wood field or ice field, in some gymnasiums, in some circuses, in some beaches, and in some public pools slash water parks. Some dress codes state that females are allowed to wear leotards without wearing anything over the bottom part, briefs part of the leotard but that males are not allowed to wear leotards without wearing anything over the bottom part, briefs part of the leotard. We know that sexual discrimination is wrong and hurtful. What if a male wants to perform in a leotard? A male can wear a leotard, and he can still be a male. It is like the lipstick on a pig simile. I am one of those males who want to wear leotards without wearing anything over the bottom part, the briefs part of the leotard. I like being an athlete in a leotard. Especially, I want to be on the aerial silk in a leotard. And it is one of my dreams. Here's a drawing of myself in a leotard on the aerial silk. If I was a clothing designer, I would create leotards that the length of the crouch is longer to prevent clothing malfunctions. Approximately 7 inches long before inserting one half inch thick elastic. Wearing the underwear briefs backward was my inspiration and my pattern. There is such a thing as aquatic leotards. The aquatic leotard fabric ratio of nylon to spandex is approximately 17 to 3. Please support males' fashion rights.